Hello guys, um, this is the second part of this tutorial about Sumo. Today we are going to see how to download a map from OpenStreetMap and convert that map into a Sumo network and finally we are going to assign a random trip to the network and simulate it. So that's what we are going to see in this video. Previously, we manually built this network. That means we manually define the nodes, the edges, and we manually define the route, the vehicle types, and vehicle parameters. That's great, but what if we have a very large network? It's not funny to do that manually. So today we will see how we can import any map from OpenStreetMap and bring it into Sumo and convert it into the network and assign trip and route to the network. So let's just get started. The very first thing we will do is to search and download map from OpenStreetMap. And then we are going to convert the map into Sumo network using the netconvert command. And then we are going to add trip and route to the network using uh, the building Python script called random trips py these are the commands we are going to use depending on your system as i told you previously uh, you have to download python and install it on your computer in order to follow this tutorial so let's go to open street map for that just type open street map onto google okay this open street map let's say we want to find any network let's say we want to find a map you just type the name or the address here let's say um Manhattan. I just tap Manhattan, New York. Let's tap New York and press go. And then let's select any area in New York. If you are interested in this whole area, we just click on export. You can see the coordinate of the region here. If you are satisfied with this area, just click on export. Uh -huh. Here you see it says the site can be reached. This doesn't have anything to do with you. It's with their website. This just means that the area you are trying to download is too big and it cannot be downloaded using uh, this direct method. There are some other ways to download bigger map and we will see that in future videos. But for now, for the sake of this video, let's just reduce the area and download it. To reduce the area, we can select it manually. We can click here and select the area manually. But before doing that, we need to zoom in. Let's say we are interested in this area. We can now click on manual selection and increase or reduce the area. And then if you are satisfied with this, click on export. Here we have our map. Let's copy this map into a new folder, our working space. 
let's call that O S M random trips okay now we can just paste our map here you can change the name of the map to reflect exactly your area let's call that Manhattan okay the first step is done now what we want to do is to convert the map into sumo network and it's very easy to do that let's just copy this comment and paste it in command line we need first to open a command line that's aligned with our working directory to do that you just tap cmd in the address bar and press enter let's paste our code here okay it's complaining it's saying could not open osm file map.osm this is because we have renamed our map so what we want to do is to change this map dot osm into the name of our map it's man Hutton. okay now um what does this command do net convert just use the map we have just downloaded and output a network that can be that can be used by sumo the name of our network here i put that test but we can change and call that maybe Manhattan it's up to you let's press enter now and see what will happen this command is going to output the network please observe the folder okay now we have the Manhattan network here and we have some warnings here uh, let's just disregard those warnings for now but in future uh, we would like to see exactly what's going on like here it says the traffic light does not control any links those warnings you may want to address that w when you are doing your project now let's move to the next step the next step is to add trips and route to the network using the building command random trips.py let's search the random trip script this is the, the random trips script we want to use let's open the path where it is it's in sumo directory tools so you go to program files dlr sumo tools you can find the random trips script that we want to use let's copy it and paste it into our working directory okay now what we want to do now is just to copy this code and paste it into the command line okay now it's saying python is not recognized as internal or external command if this is your case just change python into py the shortcut for python the next thing you will want to do is to change this path into the directory where your random trips python is in let's just copy our path and replace this word path with control v okay what does this command do it calls the python random trips script it also called the network we have just created we call that network manhattan so we are going to change this test dot net into manhattan 
Okay. It's going to output the root using the dash R. That route will be called here test.route.xml, but let's just change the name test into something meaningful like Manhattan. Okay. And dash E here means the end of the simulation. Normally, we should also have the beginning of the simulation with dash B. But by default, the beginning of the simulation is zero. And the end of the simulation here is 50. Later, we will change that and see what will go on. So if we press enter here, observe here, okay. Now it says success. And here we can see our Manhattan root file and the Manhattan root alt file. Those two files are the files that comes out when we use the random trips script in order to generate the, the root. Usually we have two files for the root. You can you can delete it again and run the script in the command line and those files are going to come again. Let's run again the script here. Those are the two files that come. Let's open it and see what's inside. Here we can see that it assigns 50 vehicles and each vehicle has a root. The root is defined with a set of edges. For example, this is the root for vehicle ID 0 and it's going to depart at time 0 second. Vehicle ID 12 will depart at 12 seconds and it's going to follow this route and so on. So this is how it randomly generate the root. If we run again this same script, it's going to generate different root, of course, because it's using the random trips. Let's run again and see. Yes, it says this file has been modified by another program. Do you want to reload it? Just say yes. And we see that it generates different routes with different IDs for vehicles. Okay, let's continue. Now the thing we want to do is to set up the configuration file and run the network. And usually the configuration file look like this. We have the input, the time. Sometimes you also have the output here, but for the sake of simplicity now, we just limit our configuration file to this. Let's just copy this code and paste into a new notepad plus plus file. Paste it here and save it. Let's call that Manhattan. Dot sumo cfg. The dot sumo cfg is the extension for the configuration file of sumo. So remember it dot sumo cfg. CFG means CFG means configuration. Let's save it. Okay, now we have. Let's go into our folder. Now we have the network. We have the root and the configuration file. Um, 
Oh, I forgot to mention that when you run this script, uh, it also generates the, the trips. Let's open the trips and see. So it not only generates the trips, but also the routes. The trips is just the, the departure node and the end node without any route. So the main difference between the trip file and the root file is that the trip file just specify the from node to the end node, whereas the root specify the beginning node, the end node, and all the intermediate path the Velk is going to work on. So now we are ready to simulate our network. We can just open, we can just double click here to open it. Huh, it's complaining now, it's saying my net .NET XML is not accessible. This is normal because um, if we go, let's go again into the configuration file. This is the configuration file. In the configuration file, we need to change the name of this network. We called the network Manhattan. Okay. And the, the root file, we call that also Manhattan. The beginning time is zero. The end time you can change if you like, but let's keep it for now to 2000 second. Let's save this. Okay. Let's again run our configuration file. Great. Now this is our network we just imported from OpenStreetMap. Sometimes you may want to edit this file, but now uh, let's just keep this and run it and see if it works. Let's increase the delay in order to see what's going on. Let's play. We can see that the Python script Random Trips has generated vehicles to the network. So that's pretty it for this tutorial. In the next video, we are going to see how to use origin destination in order to generate trips and route. And we are going to simulate. I bet uh, this part will be, will be the most interesting part because um, usually uh, we have origin and destination matrices provided by agencies and we can just use that in order to simulate a real network and see if um, it matches with the reality. If it doesn't match, we can calibrate the network again and again in order to bring the simulation closer to the reality. Thank you for following and see you in the next video. Bye.